Hi friends, here in this video we are going to know projections of plane surface. The problem is like this, first we read the problem. A square lamina A, B, C, D of 40 mm side rest on corner C such that the diagonal AC appears to be at 45 degree to VP. The two sides BC and CD containing the corner C make equal inclinations with HP. The surface of the lamina makes 30 degree with HP. Draw its top and front views. Let's start to find out the details of first portion, second and third portion in the given problem. Okay. See here, first we know the, the given lamina is square lamina of side 40 mm. The name of the lamina is given that is A, B, C, D. Okay. Okay. Next, next after this, for first portion, okay, for first portion, we need to identify projection of plane and how does it rest on this plane. Okay, we need to identify projection of plane and how does it rest on this plane. Okay, see here by reading the problem, we know that okay, here is given the two see the projection of plane is not given directly in this problem in these type of problems some other hint is given to identify the the projection of plane okay which hint is given okay see the two sides bc and cd containing the corner c make equal inclinations with hp that is nothing but the given plane is hp it is on hp see what is the meaning see what is the meaning just you consider this is the square okay resting on corner okay when it is inclined to hp okay this edge and this edge equal inclination see equal inclination with vhp okay that is the meaning okay with the help of this sentence we know the the plane is hp the two sides BC and CD containing the corner C make equal inclinations with HP. Okay. How it is rest how does it rest on HP? See here given rest on corner C. Okay, rest on corner. See particularly the name of the corner is given that is C. It is resting on corner C. Okay. With the help of these two details, we can easily draw the first portion. Okay, for second portion, what is given? See clearly given surface of the lamina makes 30 degree with hp see that is theta is equal to 30 degree for third position okay here is given such that the diagonal ac appears to be at 45 degree to vp the diagonal ac appears to be inclined at 45 degree to vp see with respect to vp that is a phi or beta it's depending on appears appears means apparent angle is given apparent angle measuring with respect to vp that is a beta beta is given in this problem okay later i will discuss later uh, i will discuss uh, these two questions first i will uh, i am going to draw the first position okay let us start with uh, draw the thin horizontal x y line name it as x y now write it as a vp above the x y line hp below the x y line see i want to construct the square resting on corner c okay first i am going to draw the one horizontal line okay just i am going to draw the one horizontal line here okay An horizontal line here okay just I am going to draw the horizontal line just thin line as a thin line now I place it here just I mark the point uh, with the help of protractor I take above okay I will take here just okay here Forty five okay above this horizontal line I mark it forty five degree and below also I will mark it as a forty five degree okay below also I will mark it as a forty five degree okay now I join all these two lines to the this corner just with the help of thin line okay
okay see now after this i measure how much is the length of this side is given that is 40 mm measure 40 mm length with the uh, compass okay compass here i measure the 40 mm length okay in this length of side is 40 is given okay 40 then here this length of the side is also 40 now from this you cut this okay see like this we have to draw the square resting on a corner Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry here. I want to connect here. Okay, draw as a dark line since it is a top view. Okay, now I want to give the name of uh, name of this. Uh, top view okay this is okay it's very important particularly in the problem mentioned as resting on corner c resting on corner c i write it this is the corner c first then i will name it remaining vertices okay a b c and d okay a b a b and c and d okay now see now after i project all the points of the top view upward to meet the x y line with a thin line okay with a thin line just uh, i will project it and project this also okay by joining these points we will obtain the front view on the x y line front view on the x y line front view on the x y line okay this is the front view on the x y line here is the observer okay here is the observer uh, here is the observer okay what are the points are visible and invisible by identifying see see here by when you are observing here c is visible directly i will mark it this as c dash okay now then here b is visible b dash a is directly visible c dash then d coincide with b then within bracket d dash okay these are the first uh, set of views this is the first position this is the first position these two are the first set of views okay with the help of first portion i want to draw the second portion okay now come to the here second portion okay second portion here uh, already i share uh, I list out what are the details are given for each position, each problem. Then uh, this table I shared already in Google Drive. Just to go through this table in Google Drive. Okay. See here for first portion HP is given and resting on corner. These two are given. If the first portion is HP, first portion is on HP, then there are possibilities. Either theta is given or this is given or this also given okay in out of these three any one is given here in this given problem theta is given okay theta is given okay theta is 30 degree theta draw the 30 degree line above the x y line just okay in this front view huh, which is resting point here corner c that is nothing but this corner is resting point i want to mark it corner c on this x y line this point is a c dash sorry this is a dash okay now keep the protractor on c dash keep the protractor on c dash mark it 30 degree mark it 30 degree and draw the line and you draw the line draw the line here okay see now i want to Rot this front view is rotated 30 degree to x y line or 30 degree to h p okay measure it. see without disturbing any dimensions i want to redraw this front view here okay that is nothing but i want to see here measuring 
डिस्टेंस हाउ मच इज द फ्रॉम हियर टू हियर मेजर ओके हियर दिस डिस्टेंस ओके नाउ आई वांट टू मार्क इट ओके देन यू मेजर डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम हियर टू हियर ऑलमोस्ट सेम ओके ऑलमोस्ट सेम ओके फ्रॉम हियर यू मेजर एंड मार्क इट ओके नाउ दिस पॉइंट एंड दिस पॉइंट this point is a b dash bracket d dash and this is the uh, a dash okay now see i want to draw the here top view second top view how to draw the top view see we can obtain the top view by drawing horizontal projectors from the previous top view and vertical projector from the front view when or vertical projector and horizontal projectors are intersecting we will get the intersection points by joining those intersection point we obtain the top view okay see let us start project all the projectors from the previous top view okay horizontal line from b and vertical line from b okay here b vertical line from p this point is b okay now horizontal line from say b a and c on same horizontal line okay so i will draw it here okay horizontal line from a and vertical line from a and vertical line from a see vertical line from a this point is a a then horizontal line from c and vertical line from c okay this point is a c then horizontal line from d and vertical line from d this point is d okay just join all the points we will obtain the front view we will obtain the front view okay then i want to make it a front front view uh, also dark okay we will obtain the this is the top view and this is the front view of angle is given how much 30 degree okay here dimension is given how much this uh, length is 40 degree sorry 40 mm this length is 40 mm okay this length is 40 mm okay this is the second portion okay see what are the details are given for third portion okay see here very important diagonal ac appears to be inclined at 45 degree to vp okay see appears okay see uh, i will show in the table see okay now say we will check uh, what are the given here these are required to draw the third portion first i will check it resting edge is inclined it is not given in the problem next if it is not given you check it here since it is square in case of square diagonal is inclined okay in this problem diagonal is inclined okay diagonal is inclined okay along with the diagonal appear world is present or absent if appear world is present then this is called without locus problem in that problem beta is given with respect to vp or alpha is given with respect to uh, hp okay here beta is nothing but apparent angle not necessary to find out apparent angle look okay, apparent angle is given then how to draw this very simple whatever is given first we draw it see 45 degree beta is 45 degree we draw see any side any side you okay, can mark it one point on x y and okay with the help of protractor you take how much degree is given 45 okay draw the 45 degree line draw the 45 degree line here draw the 45 degree line okay this angle is how much 45 degree okay see here here very important thing is apparent angles are measured with respect to apparent length of the line true angles are measuring with respect to true length of the line okay the given angle is apparent angle that is beta apparent angle measuring with respect to apparent length okay the diagonal ac 
appears to be inclined 45 to AP. Okay. Here there are two diagonals are there. AC, this is one diagonal and here also AC, one more diagonal. In these two diagonal, which is true length, CA is the true length and this CA in the second top view is the apparent length. Means apparent length of this AC, I want to mark it this. Apparent angles are measuring with respect to apparent length. Okay. Ah, see, mark it A, this point A, anywhere here, anywhere you mark it A. Okay, then I want to, okay, I, next I want to mark it C here. How much is the distance from A to C? Okay, measure distance. Now, uh, mark this C point also on this 45 degree line. Okay, this point is C. Okay, now AC, this is the apparent length of the diagonal, is inclined 45 degree to XY line or 45 degree to VP. Okay, next, with the help of this diagonal, okay, I have drawn this diagonal here, with the help of this diagonal, I want to redraw this top view, redraw this top view without changing any dimensions, okay, how to redraw, already I have marked A and C, I want to mark it here, B and D, these two points, okay, very simple is there, with the help of compass, you measure the dimension, how much is there, Okay, D. Okay, when you rotate like this, D is coming in this side. Mark it from, sorry, from C. How much is there? You draw the arc here. Then from A. I think that is also same. Mark it. Okay, this point is D. This point is D. Then I want to mark it B. Measure distance from B to A. How much is there? B to A. And B to C also, I think, same distance. Okay, just you draw the arc from the point C, then draw the arc from the point A, which cut the previous arc. This point is uh, B. Now, I, I join all the points. Now, I join the all the points. Now, I join the all the points. Okay, uh, this is with the thick line. I want to... I am going to draw the, all the points with the thick line. Okay. Now, this is the top view. Now, I am going to draw the front view above the x wall. Simple. Okay. By projecting all the points from the, this top view upward direction, then all the points from the previous front view horizontally. Okay. See where is Okay. First, A. A horizontal. A vertical line. A vertical line and A horizontal line. This is here. Okay, now this is here. this point I am getting here. A dash then B horizontal line. Okay, here. Here B and D two points are there on this horizontal line. B horizontal line, B vertical line, B vertical line. This point is B dash and C vertical line c vertical line and c horizontal line on x y line this is c dash and d vertical line and d horizontal line from this line this is d dash by joining all the points we will obtain the required we will obtain the required front view See, this is the uh, required front view. Okay, I hope you understand this. Huh? I hope you can understand this. Thank you.